you are welcome to Day Tutor Academy, where we feature free video tutorials to help you understand the fundamentals of mathematics and the science subjects. We have comprehensive solutions to numerous past questions from various exams, including WAHEC, NECO, GCE, JAMBUTME, GED, and IGCSE. These are aimed at preparing you to ace your exam with flying colors so that you can successfully build that great career you have always longed for. All you have to do is to just subscribe to Data Academy and turn on that notification bell so as to set yourself on a path to excellence. And with that, we can head over to our video for today. Okay? In this question, we have to solve the equation 2 raised to power x multiplied by 4 raised to power minus 7 is equal to 2 and 3 raised to power minus x multiplied by 9 raised to power 2y is equal to 3 simultaneously. Now, look at these two equations, okay? Look at these two expressions. In the first case, we have only x. In the second case, we have x and y. Meaning that if we are able to find the value of x in the first case, we can substitute into the second case to find the value of y. And that exactly is what we are going to be doing. So, let me just find a way to divide the board into say like 2. And then in the first case, look at this. We are told that 2 raised to power x multiplied by 4 raised to power minus 7 is equal to 2. Looking at this, since this is indices, we know that if we make the base to be equal, we can easily equate the power. Or you can even just divide both sides by 4 raised to the power minus 7. So let me do that and say divided by 4 raised to the power minus 7 over 4 raised to the power minus 7. So this will cut so that I can now 2 raised to the power x is equal to 2 divided by 4 raised to the power minus 7. But 4 raised to the power minus 7 itself, I know, is something like this. 2 raised to the power x is equal to 2 divided by 4 is 2 raised to the power 2, okay? Then raised to the power minus 7. This is the operation of powers of indices that can help us to express all the bases together. So, I can further say this is 2 raised to the power x to be equal to 2. Now, divided by... 2 raised to the power 2, or raised to the power minus 7, I can multiply the powers to give me 2 raised to the power minus 14. Okay? Now, by laws of indices, let's say this 2 raised to the power has to be equal to a single 2. The power of that 2 is 1. This division will become minus, then minus 14 as the other power, taking the laws of indices that was given that if we have a raised to power m multiplied by a raised to power n, that's the same as a raised to power m plus n. Okay? And if it is division, we can also have it that for division, we can have it that a raised to power m divided by a raised to power n is the same as a raised to power m minus n. And that is what we are actually using here now in this particular case. So, I can just express this as the same as 2 raised to power 1 plus 14. Because negative will multiply one another to give us positive. Such that I can now say I have 2 raised to power x is equal to 2 raised to power 15. Since the bases are equal. Definitely, the powers have to be equal. So, x here is 15. Okay? That is one of the solutions that we are looking for. In the other case, that we are given 3 raised to the power minus x multiplied by 9 raised to the power 2y is equal to 3. Here, in the same case, we can just say, we know the value of x already. Okay? So, this is the same as saying we have 3 raised to power minus 15 multiplied by 9 raised to power 2y is equal to 3. So, I can divide both sides by 3 raised to power minus 15 over 3 raised to power minus 15. So, this will cancel this. 9, I also know it to be 3 raised to power 2. And then, the 2y that I'm having there, yeah, this 2y. I can also express it again. 
then having done that i know this is 3 divided by 3 raised to the power minus 15 and this is 3 raised to the power 1 just like we found the other time i can open this bracket to say this will now be 3 raised to the power 2 times 2y two that is 4y is equal to 3 raised to the power 1 minus minus 15 okay so that is going to give me 3 raised to the power 4y is equal to 3 raised to the power 1 minus minus 15 again i can just easily express that out to be 3 raised to the power 1 plus 15 okay and 1 plus 15 is nothing but 16 and since the basis are equal i can say this implies that 4y is equal to 16. to solve for y i can divide both sides by 4 so 4 can cancel 4 here 4 year 1 4 in 16 4 therefore y is equal to 4 so the solution to the equation that we're giving that we should solve simultaneously is nothing but that x is 15 and y is 4 and you can also try some many processes to also try and solve questions like this whenever you come across them but here the answer is x is 15 and y is 4So that's all we are going to be having in our lecture today. We hope that this will be of benefit of use to somebody out there. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of resources that you can use to enhance your academic excellence. And that's our desire that you go out and be the best. And as you do all this, we know that all will work out together for good. Until next time, God bless you.